thick black smoke rises over Bahrain's Pearl Square. Two Bahraini policemen were killed in an operation to clear mainly Shiite protesters from a central roundabout. Protesters who had been camping there for weeks threw petrol bombs at police who advanced in thick lines. Police fired tear gas into the square. It is not clear how many protesters were hurt. This comes a day after Bahrain's king declared martial law and drew troops in from Saudi Arabia. It did not appear that Gulf Arab forces invited in by the government were involved in the operation. Protesters blocking off a main thoroughfare in Bahrain on Sunday, determined to hold the stretch of highway that leads to Financial Harbor, a key business district. The demonstrators sat down on King Fazal Highway, forming a human barricade against the incoming riot police and their tear gas. This man attempts to ward off the incoming gas canisters with a sign, but he too is overwhelmed by the sheer number of riot police. The seriously injured are dragged away into cars and rushed to hospitals, but many others are left behind. But the demonstrators are undeterred, and they come back and line up against the intense police force again. This time, the police face off with batons and fire tear gas at nearly point-blank range, sending the demonstrators tumbling off the side of the highway. The reaction is swift, and soon the police are forced to back off in the face of the now enraged demonstrators who join in from the nearby Pearl Roundabout, the focal point of demonstrations on the small Gulf Islands. The government said in a statement that it had moved to disperse the protesters after an attack on unarmed police that left two injured. Bahrain has been gripped by its worst unrest since the 1990s, with weeks of rallies by its disgruntled Shiite Muslim majority, which says it is discriminated against by the Sunni al-Khalifa ruling family.